Hi, once again, again. I just wanted to uh, add something else to this that that um, is worth mentioning because when I talked about uh, this creating your know, holding price up here and then being broken over here, yeah, it's actually like over here breaks this. Um, I should also mention that after this, it comes up and forms this other flag here. So. You know, this holds price up and gets broken there and it comes up and uh, we test this so you, you have uh, you know, there's a Quasimodo here just there and there's one uh, let's see high low higher high of course lower low and this comes up but you, you can see anyway that this is a retest of the action the price action up here um, probably right into the underside of this yeah so yeah, into the decision point, just uh, this second little red candle there, red candle to the left of the cursor, the the bottom of that, that's the decision points right in there, and that's where price comes up to here. Uh, and that would have been a, a great entry um, <clears throat> in itself, if you're expecting the price to go uh, lower from within here for some other reason that was there. But also that's worth mentioning because this this is also where the the um, you know so that's a that's an FTR you know so prices come here this is an FTR of 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 this price action zone and this is an FTR this larger um, price action zone that I'm not really defining very well in there um, and also this is a, a good strong move down so that's also somewhere that uh, could have acted as a turning point within this larger area when um, price came back to there um, and it might still do of course when it comes back up then this is uh, it's a reaction to this um, it's a little bit compressed there now so you be careful but um, certainly that's a good strong move away oh excuse me and it breaks this low so yeah that's a that's a nice place in there to, to look for uh, somewhere to go short to um, but this one's nice and close to the actual uh, RS flip level that we were looking at and uh, uh, yes we got the bow here and uh, but th this is this is the actual flag here this area created by the the break of the of the flip itself um, and then that was broken there which makes that significant here um, it's held it up as well, you know, so you see that how all kind of things go from flag limit to flag limit or FTR to FTR. They're, they're all FTRs, but um, they're more significant are flag limits. Oh, excuse me. And I, I also, I see this one as being as significant for a few reasons. Um, it, it, uh, yeah, it, it breaks this low and this low, so you know that's that's more like a local thing, but that's important that it breaks this back downwards, and uh, it's also a, a decision to go back down underneath the the iris flip, and um, it's the decision point to in fact break this uh, this flag to the downside and not uh, not to carry on upwards. So as price came down and down here and, and first broke the RS flip, created this flag, uh, flag limit in fact, uh, which held this flag up, uh, and then this this uh, this is a decision point to break the entire flag is up here, so this does have significance, uh, and it was nice and strong, and then it's paused, and then you have another breakdown which breaks us back under the the SR flip line. And back under the, eventually back under the, the um, the flag itself. Uh, so there you have it. And uh, so so this actual point it's itself is wherever it exits the, exits the this um, this entire area. This is significant too. So um, uh, I haven't looked to see what happens when it comes back there. Um, also worth noting is. Uh, this little point in here is, is like a kind of little 
fake out kind of area. You know, it's uh, it's come up here, paused and dropped. So, yeah, that's a very kind of fakey kind of thing there too, um, which wasn't wasn't used in the end. <sighs> Excuse me. So, out of interest, I'm just going to look and see if anything happened when price came back right to the underside of um, the underside of this blue area. Boom, boom, boom. If it actually did before we got to uh, uh, yeah. So it's that yellow one and the blue one. Have I confused myself again? I think it's it's no, it's back to my issue with boxes not showing up in every time frame. Uh four hour Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, and they've changed color too. Oh, that's just awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me just take that one out because it's the same thing, essentially at the bottom. Uh, and I can remove this for sake of confusion. And come out too. Okay, so let's see what happens when we get back to our blue box. Oh, ooh, nothing. Look at that. The edge of it was ignored. Yeah. Which, um, in turn, I guess I haven't looked at this. makes makes this significant because this is the this is uh, you know, we've come up. We've completely ignored the bottom of that flag, which. Uh, had the potential to be uh, an iris flip, but it was ignored. And then we get this here, boom, 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 which in itself is uh, broken there. Um, so you see just this point here to there, it's broken. And oh, this, this could be quite interesting. So uh, it's broken here, it comes back. Uh, this is this is an FTR after it's broken both this and this low to come down and off it's gone and it's come back up to test it and it's actually it's actually broken it there so that's a tiny fake out so I wonder if that then means that this uh, this area in here becomes very quasi-modo-ish so while we're here let's uh, just do this um, take out that for clarity, I'll make this yellow again. This is the kind of stuff that I, j I just pop along doing to learn how, how things do or don't work and uh, where the these significant points might be and then when we come back what happens. Um, and yeah, there's a there's a reaction. I mean, is it, is it a reaction to that point exactly that I noted? Well, I, I don't know, but if you're if you're looking here for oh no, I wish I had uh, oh, lost it. Where is it? Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, my box is gone again. I should see it on the. F I should see it on the four hour. Oh, there we go. Ah, huh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Uh, so I can only go down to the hourly on this, as I've just seen. But um, what have we got up down? Yeah, there's probably some price action in there that that, that would get you short, almost certainly. Um, yeah. So maybe not a full reversal, but certainly a reaction. And uh, let's have a look at what it actually did. And uh, oops, let me just make that line active so we can make sure we're in the right area. Uh, yeah, so there's, I wonder if there's something that it's uh, actually faked out up to in there. I uh, don't think I can go any further in, but you see it's still on, it's still in this, uh, this, um, 
this area that's caused all this flippiness. So it's you know it's come up, it's been held up, it's come down. So it's uh, in the same kind of area. And if you don't know what what's causing something, it's maybe something major to the left. So I'm just gonna, oops, have a look along and see if there's something along here, which is miles away, miles and miles away. Oh, who knows? <laughs> but there's there's lots going on in there. I could probably I, I could probably find it if I put a bit more effort into doing so. But you see how things work, you know. Or at least this is me journalizing the way I think, so I can come back and look at this later and see where I was right and wrong and the things that I have to reiterate and where I have to just forget because I'm going down another rabbit hole. Okay. Have a good day, evening, night, wherever you are.